Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now is start to apply a few uh, of the lessons. Now, lesson 14 from A Course in Miracles, which I always talk about. Um, in lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles, uh, and it touches on many of the themes that we did, it says in lesson 14, God did not create cancer and so it is not real. Uh, and it says God did not create war and so it is not real. So, hence the thing of, uh, and then it says, some of these things which are manifesting in your life are your own personal repertoire of horrors, and some of the things manifesting in your life are part of the collective, collective's manifestation uh, that are showing up in your life. So, in, in, but it doesn't really matter, you just clear what's showing up for, for you. So one of the ways to do that, and we've done this in a group, and I've, I've, uh, I've experienced miracles after I let go of the thinking in my head of things happening, miraculous healings and all kinds of things happen. But one of them is uh, just to apply this. So we're doing this now in the group, going around the room one by one. For example, you know, for, I might say, God did not create fuzzy eyesight in me, and so it is not real. Or God did not create uh, psoriasis and eczema in me, and so it is not real. So as you let go of the things which are showing up in your life and say they're not real, then when they disappear from your thinking, they tend to also, not, it's not guaranteed, disappear from your life. Um, another way of doing it, Dr. Hawkins mentioned, is I cancel my belief in cancer. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Or I cancel my belief in bad builders. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Or, or whatever it is, God did not create... Uh, tempting donuts, so they're not real. So you can you can do whatever you like with them, and um, just to release that those repetitive thoughts which go on and on. You're deprogramming. You're releasing everything that your ego is identifying with you, and so so that these things no longer occur. Uh, after we've done that around the room, we can also you can you can also do. I found out, uh, like I've often shared, and I'll, I'll share now. I found out you can do it on behalf of others as well, if you if you so choose to. My mother had uh, the once. I was only doing it on myself, cancelling my own beliefs. And my mother once had swelling in her legs, oedema, and the doctor said there's nothing they could do for her. So I, I did. God did not create oedema in my mother, and so it is not real. And the same day, it started to go down. Within a few days, it was gone. So that's how you can do it on behalf of others. You know, like God did not create. Uh, so we, we can, we'll have a phase where we can do it for others in this group as well. So we can, and, you know, and we can do some of these lessons. There's different course lessons we can do. Like instead of this, um, <coughs> like instead of these bad builders, I could see peace. Or instead of this squatter breaking into my father's property, I could see peace. So there's various things you can do just to release your ego's perception of various things. So it's very, very powerful in my experience, miracles can happen. Uh, if you're new to the group, yes? Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's probably, anyway, that's a divine thing. It's you know, there's probably time for me to wrap up. One, one second? Yeah, so, so, let's come if up I can just hold, hold, hold on one oh, second. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, 